This video is a public challenge to Steve Anderson. Uh, he seems very, very confident. You seem very confident, Steve Anderson, in thinking that you are right on your heretical teaching there against the pre-trib rapture. So I don't want a formal debate because I don't have time or money to go traveling someplace. I don't even care if it was a paid thing. I don't even believe in debate. You know, debate's listed as one of the sins in Romans chapter 1. And I don't want a debate. Okay, all I want to do is show everyone before God and man that you are a heretic and that you don't know the Bible. Okay, so I'm going to give you 10 questions that I would like an answer to. Now, what I want you to do is, if you accept this challenge, you know, if you run away, well, I'll expect that. But if you accept the challenge to answer these 10 questions from a pre-trib rapture preacher, I want you to answer the questions, take as much time as you want, and post the response in to this video. And I'll put it up for the world to see. Because I'm going to prove to the world that you can answer these questions from Scripture. Here they are. And I'm even going to write them out for you. Question number one. Where is the resurrection of dead saints mentioned in Matthew chapter 24, Mark 13, Luke 17, or 21? In other words, Luke chapter 21. Where is there a resurrection of dead saints? Where do the dead saints come up in those three different books? Question number two. Did Jesus and Paul preach the same gospel? Question number three. Can you provide documented proof of Bible-believing Christians teaching a pre-wrath rapture before 1830? Because that's basically what you teach, Steve Anderson. You teach a pre-wrath rapture. Okay? Don't do this, oh, it's after the tribulation. Uh, the tribulation, well, I'm not going to go off on that now because that's one of my questions. But pre-wrath is what you believe in. After the tribulation, before the wrath. That's what you say. Question number four. Please explain the prophecy Jesus gave concerning the rebirth of the fig tree in Matthew chapter 24, verses 32 through 34. Please explain to us who the fig tree is and when they are reborn or if they are going to be reborn. Number five, what is the fullness of the Gentiles and when will it come in? Number six, who are the elect mentioned in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 10? Please tell us who the elect's sake there in that passage. Who is the elect in that verse? Uh, question number seven, could you please give one reference in the Bible where the words, quote, the tribulation or, quote, the great tribulation are used as a title for the coming time, the end time there, this time period, this seven-year time period. Please give me one reference in the King James Bible to the great tribulation or the tribulation as a title, not a description. Question number eight, if all Christians give up looking for the rapture, the pre-trib rapture, okay, pre-tribulation rapture, if, if all Christians gave up looking for the pre-trib rapture and studied uh, what's going on and really what's going on and woke up to what's going on, could we stop the new world order? Question number nine, what city will Jesus rule and reign from during the millennium? And question number 10, who brings in the New World Order, God or Satan? Now, those shouldn't be too difficult for you to answer if you are a Bible-believing preacher, as you claim. But the fact of the matter is, I don't believe you're going to be able to answer them. And I'm going to be able to show people that you are a heretic. And you are. You're not a pastor. You are a novice at best, and a false prophet probably more in reality. All right, that's it. I will await your reply. Thank you.